Hello and welcome back to the Pokemon Platinum Nuzlocke. Last time we defeated Crash Awake, but at a cost. And uh, now we should investigate the bomb plot that Team Galactic is setting up. So let's quickly do that. Hey! What am I, chopped liver? Don't forget I'm here too. So, where's this Galak? And an explosion. There we go, there's the sound effect. Phew, that was rough. You, what have you done? What have I done, you're asking? Well, technically speaking, it wasn't me. The package that arrived, see, that was a bomb, named the Galactic Bomb. Me, I was told to push the button. So I did, like, poink. Oh, that's right, mustn't forget, the test result uh, needs reporting. Cheerio then, you daft codger, your mask's absurd. <laughs> the Great Marsh is invaluable. You two, do not follow me. Don't let anyone else in either. There'd be big trouble if there's any of that bomb left. Hey, Jay, you go after the uh, Galactic Goon. I'm staying here like Master said. Gotta keep the others from going in. Don't let the galactic guy get away. Okay. Let's follow him then. What's with you? Stop chasing after me, you. I've half a mind to pulverize you with my Pokemon. But I have to be on my way to the lake ASAP. So you're lucky. I'm out. Alright. Do, uh, do I make myself clear? Don't you dare follow me. Let's follow him. There we go. Waltz through here. We needed that energy from the Valley Windworks to make this. It, it, wouldn't, uh, it would take a scientific genius to make something like this. Therefore, our boss who made this is a scientific mechanical genius. Ah, you were eavesdropping. I was just thinking out loud. But I'm not going to waste my energy knocking you around. You will waste your energy trying to do that. I'm just gonna have to catch up to you again. And again and again. Come on, there you are. But boy, this galactic bomb packs a pretty big wallop. Uh, with this baby here, uh, with this baby here, there's not much we can uh, we can't blow up. I wonder what they have planned for this. Ah, you were eavesdropping, I was just thinking out loud. You are a persistent pest. I'm getting tired of running away, but I'm not going to waste my energy knocking you around. Yeah, yeah, we'll see about that. Oh, look her. Hello, my friend. The cargo that Team Galactic brought is worrisome, so I have come. You say the cargo, it was a bomb? And there was an explosion? The explosion was at the Great Marsh? Furthermore, you are pursuing a man, a man with a funny bowl cut hair. Um, a man with funny bowl cut hair in an outfit that is very strange in other words that is the team galactic oh no 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 how did I miss it ah look at this time you have made a mistake for the ages the man who I have seen running away he was the bearer of the bomb ah this will not do wait wait I say okay let's see how often do we have to find him again before uh, before we can battle him and, you know, get done with it? Ah, there's Luca. Ah, oh, my friend, it is you. Yes, I am at this hotel now. I'm interviewing the people to see if they have seen anyone suspicious. I would like your assistance. Go search outside, if you will. The suspect, he may have already slipped, a uh, slipped away ahead unnoticed. He most likely has. Because, let's be real, Luca, not the most competent. There we go. <sighs> Why am I running like this anyway? That new world, the new universe that our boss was talking about. It's making me giddy thinking about it. When we use this thing... Uh, you were eavesdropping. I was only talking to myself. You're persistent too. I'm... I'm pooped out from all the running. But I'm not going to battle you. Yeah, one last time. One last time and then you will battle me. 
Wait, who do we use to face a Team Galactic guy? Honestly, I think you can't really go wrong with Gyarados. There we go. Ah, oh, no, you're still on my tail. The leg's within sight. You leave me no choice. My Pokemon will KO you. Okay, let's see about that. Let's see if they're gonna do that. One Pokemon? Okay. A Krogunk. Okay, then. Let's see about that. Let's see about that. Level 31? Yeah, okay. Let's just... Does dry skin exist in this game already? Let's see. Sucker Punch? Okay, makes sense. Doesn't do much though. Oh, that's a miss. Not a dry skin proc, at least. Yeah, yeah, keep Sucker Punching if you want to. There we go. And how much does it do? It does enough. Very good. Krogang fainted. There's some XP. Galactic Grunt defeated. Phew, if I didn't run, whatever. It's not that important what they have to say afterwards. I can't battle anymore. I'm running on fumes. I'll have to give this uh, to the commander. I, I wish I got to use it at the lake. Okay, he's just walking very slowly. Oh, Cynthia. Hello there. Oh, hello. Long time no see. How is your Pokedex filling up? I came to research the folklore about the lake, but, well, it doesn't appear as if the lake is open to the, uh, to the public now. Have you heard the folklore about it? They say there is an island inside the lake, and inside that island is a mirage of a Pokemon. No one must enter the chamber of that Pokemon. Oh, that's right. I had to talk to you about something else. Oh, there's Barry, of course. Hey, Jay. Uh, where'd that Galacticoon run off to? Huh? Is this your older sister? No, she isn't? Oh, okay. That explosion in the Great Marsh. It wasn't anything serious. Mr. Wake told me to tell you that. But that Team Galactic. Wow. Are they out of, con uh, out of control or what? Next time I see them, I'll teach them a lesson they won't forget. See you around. Okay. He's your friend? Well... It's not really my choice in this game, is it? Uh, he's more impatient than he is energetic, isn't he? So, getting back to what I started saying earlier. Have you seen the group of Psyduck on Route 210? Yes, I did. Uh, yes, that's right, by the cafe on Route 210. Uh, you've seen that group of Psyduck huddled with their heads in their uh, hands? Anyway, uh, what, you th uh, what you should do is use this medicine on the Psyduck. You're working on a Pokedex, so it would be worthwhile for you. The secret potion. We put it in the key items pocket. Uh, I went on a big adventure with a Pokedex when I was younger. I hope you get to meet every kind of Pokemon there is to see. It may help you with the secret of the Mirage Pokemon. See you later. Okay. Let me pass. They say there's a legendary Pokemon in this lake. I aim to capture it on film like I've done before. It was me who filmed the Red Gyarados at the Lake of Rage. Okay, so we don't go here yet. I guess we might go back to the marsh or maybe to the headquarters in, um, what was it called, Veilstone? I think one of those two. Uh, we can fly. Let's not forget about that. We can get an encounter in... We don't have a fly on us. Well, we're gonna have to change that. Okay, okay, okay. So I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna bring a uh, Staravia, or is it a Staraptor now? I don't know. Uh, we're gonna bring the flyer back on the team, and then, uh, yeah, we're gonna get, an, uh, get another encounter in the, you know, the, maybe in the Great Marsh, maybe in the um, swampy area. Uh, that's to the west, I think. Yeah, west. And, uh, yeah. Then we will pursue Team Galactic further. There we go. Osprey is evolving. And it's gonna become much, much better in a second. There we go. There's the Staraptor. Beautiful. 
And it's gonna learn close combat now, right? Yeah? Yeah, there it is. There it is. Very nice. Osprey already knows four moves. That's A-OK. -okay. Yes, let's delete a move. Honestly, I haven't really used double team much because it's not really that reliable and uh, usually we've been able to take other Pokemon out before that came into effect, so let's get rid of that. One, two, and poof. There we go. We learned close combat. Wonderful. Okay, now let's run uh, south and then west into the next route and get the new encounter that we could get here. Should we buy some Pokeballs? I think I still have some. That should still be possible. I think I'm gonna put um, Lex ahead because of Hypnosis. Should make catching easier. Let's see what our encounter is on route uh, 212. Oh, there's some berries, okay. Oh, right, right, right. We might need some HMs here. Pineapple berries, I think. Aren't, aren't they just for puffins? I'm not sure. I'm gonna harvest them anyways. I might start planting some berries off screen, of course, but... Uh, nope, didn't mean to do that. There we go. Collect that too. Alright, there we go. And now you. Petra berry, okay. There we go. Now let's see what encounters we can get here. Alright, is that something we can catch? What a way to rub it in, huh? What a way to rub it in. Sadly, that's Dupe's Claws. As much as I would like your Gastrodon again, it's not happening. Okay, and as you know, I'm gonna see you again when we encounter something that I don't have yet. A Krogunk! Okay. I'll take it. I like Krogunk. Don't use it against Psychic types, that's important, but um... Sure. It shuddered because we know a Psychic type move, but I think I'm just gonna put it uh, to sleep. There we go. And then throw some balls. Krogunk fell asleep and... Now let's see if, uh, if it's just gonna stay in the ball. I mean that should work, right? An Ultra Ball. If not, we'll put it back to sleep. Come on. One, two, three. Thank you. There we go. There we go. That's nice. That's nice. Uh, Krogung's data was added to the Pokedex. The Toxic Mouth Pokemon. Poison Fighting. It rarely fights fairly, but that is strictly to ensure survival. It is popular as a mascot. Okay, let's give it a nickname. Your name is Muta. There we go. That should work, and um, let me quickly take a look at the town map. Is there, like, does this place consist of two routes, like between the cities, or is it just one route? Well, I think there's the mansion too, right? So that's the same route, but there should be the, uh, the, the mansion that's a separate place. So we could visit that just to see um, if we can get something here. I think that's here, right? I don't know where else it would be. Yeah, I think it... Yeah, it's between Hardhome and Pastoria. Yeah. I'll quickly make my way through this route. And... Um, yeah, I guess we'll, uh, we'll try to find that mansion. Toxic, okay. That could be good to have. Alright, this route of course... A bit of a more maligned route. Understandably so, because... Who doesn't like getting stuck here? Sorry about the uh, keyboard clacking away merrily. Uh, there isn't really a way around it here. There we go, an elixir. That's a rare thing to find. Let's go through here. Oh right, there's um, 
Trainer tips, if you get stuck in the bog, you can count on uh, being there a while. There's no need to panic, just struggle and squirm for a bit. Yeah. Ah, okay. Just spotted us in time. Okay, let's see what you have. There are Pokemon that grow stronger when it's raining. Do we get an egg here? Don't we get an Eevee egg or something? That could be useful. We could hatch that anywhere. Anywhere where we don't get encounters. Could be useful. I'm gonna keep that in mind. Or maybe I'm mistaken, who knows. Let's see, uh, you... Uh, extra sensory, I guess. Horn attack, shouldn't do that much. Yeah. There we go. Take that. And that's enough. Very good. I mean, it's just a Goldeen. There we go. Rain continues to fall. Who's next? Bibarel. Okay. Sure. Let's hit you with another extra sensory. Roll out. We can take those. Uh, but can you take those? I think the special defense of Bibarel isn't actually that bad, I think. Yeah, you take one of them, but uh, you can't really do anything to take me out before um, before this one hits. Since you're locked out into rollout, it's not going to do much. There's the extra sensory. The barrel fainted. There we go. Uh, like rain, my tears flow from losing. That's just um, cheerful. Okay, let's let's see. Let's take a look into this house. Right, you run the um, the box system, right? My daddy likes blue shards. There are other people who like shards in Sinnoh. Am I mistaken? One person likes red shards, another collects yellow shards. Oh, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe that was somewhere else. Uh, if you'd share your shards with me, I can teach your Pokemon some moves. Would you like to teach a move? Yes, um... I don't know. I probably don't have enough red shards. I don't know if I, if I have any. I guess... You? Fury Cutter? Nah. <laughs> nah, thanks, I'm good. Uh, my daddy collects shards. Okay, if you find any, like, in the underground... Please bring them to us. Okay, no, I was mistaken. It must have been a different house. Right? What does this say? Uh, shards wanted. Yeah, 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 right, right. Nah, no, I must have mistaken that. Okay, some fishermen we could fight. Items we can collect with the bike. Are we... Yeah, we, we have the bike registered. That's fine. Oh. You with the weird music again. I'm proud of my Pokemon. Here, I'll show you why. Okay, go for it. Let's see. Collector Dean. Umbreon. Well, that's not the best choice of Pokemon right now. That's a shame. Uh, we're, gonna have to, we're gonna have to switch someone else in. I guess... Mox could do some work against Umbreon. Yeah, sure. That should work. Pursuit! I keep forgetting about the existence of that move simply because it doesn't exist anymore in newer games. Luckily, um, Steel still resists Dark in this one. Let's do a Mark Punch. We don't need to lower our defenses. There we go. That's one of them. Quick attack. Okay. Oh yeah, we outspeed because Mark Punch is also priority. That's good, let's hit another. There we go. It's super effective. Umbreon fainted. There's some XP, some more XP. Rain continues to fall. What's next? Is it uh, an Espeon? Yeah, I assume this much. Okay, time for us to switch again. Don't really want to be eating psychic type attacks. I think Cassidy can take them and then crunch. Or, or, or do we still have bite? 
I guess we'll see. Intimidate, probably not gonna matter. It's a special attack anyways. No, okay, it matters because of quick attack. Wait, do you go for quick attack? Do you not have psychic type attacks? Let's see, let's bite you. There we go. That's enough. Espion fainted. Collected Dean defeated. Youch! You sure showed something. There we go. And now... Let's go across here. Come on. Silver wind. Okay. Interesting. Let's take a look at that real quick. I don't know if anyone can learn that. Silver wind. Uh, power 60, accuracy 100. It may also raise all the user stats. Right. I was thinking that's one of the Omni Boost ones. We might keep it around, or we might see if anyone can use it, actually. Nah, okay, we'll keep it around. Well then, uh, what else do we have? Anything that we might need? Cr a Grass Knot could be cool, but... Eh. Brian? We don't really need a special Water-type move, I don't think anyone on the team would profit from that. Steel Wing. Okay, we could check that out. 1790. Uh, we'll wait for it to be useful. Like as an offensive typing before the introduction of the um, of the fairy type, steel was just not that useful, I guess. Uh, because like sure against ice, but we're not gonna use Staraptor in the ice type gym. Look to the other, uh, look away, cop. Look away, cop. Come on. There we go. No need to talk with cops. Usually a bad idea. Oh god, the emulator is uh, not having a good time today, I think. Alright, Quagsire appears. Lex, um... I mean, we levitate, as far as I know, so ground-type moves don't hurt. Do we just go for an uh, for an extra sensory again? Yeah. Let's go for it. Come on now. Amnesia? It's a bit too late for that, right? Yeah, it should, should be too late for that. That means we do half damage, and that's still enough. There we go, and that's done. Quagsire fainted, and there we go. Okay, we have we would have to get there from somewhere else. Maybe we would have to learn Surf to get there? I don't know. Might be something like that. 